guys welcome to my channel um, you guys just saw me coloring stamping and fussy cutting these images um, this stamp set is from the Honey Bee. it is called spring blossom and you guys have seen me use this before because it is honestly one of the floral stamps that I absolutely absolutely love so Today I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout and I sort of, I don't know why, but you guys notice like this year I've been, <laughs> I've been on a roll to do like the, the wreath and so I want to create a wreath using um, these flowers, but um, I didn't want to make the video so long or too long. So that's why you guys just saw me like speeding through all this process. And now that I have everything fussy cut, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the rest. So in case you were wondering, I ended up using the light pink pirouette from Stamping Up. This is obviously the alcohol markers from um, Stamping Up is their version. This one, I think they're stamping blends duh <laughs> i was like i think they're called no they are called the stamping blends this one is in the light pink period hopefully i'm pronouncing that and this is the dark pink so these are the shades of the pink for the flowers for the inside um which is just the yellow i ended up um using the light daffle daffle no, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Light, wait, hold on. Let me see if it's going to focus. Daffodil? Daffodil? No, I'm totally jacking up the name on that one. But it's Light Daffodil Delight or something like that. Um, and then for the green of the leaves, I ended up using my Copic markers and this one is G20 and this one G21 and it's a very very pale green so if you could tell by the color I'm kind of going with a soft like pastel colors basically so what I'm gonna do next I am going to bring over a Nina uh, white cardstock this one's 110 and I'm going to cut it in half um, because it's not going to fit on my, uh, what is the machine called? My gosh, why can't I think of the names of these things? Um, what is it called? My Big Shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use just part of it and then I'll come back and use all of it. So basically, I want this green, but I don't have any ink. So I'm basically going to be doing my own paper. So I'm just, and I know this is going to take long and probably wear out my markers, but I'm just going to bring in those two greens that we used and i'm going to create my own background like that and then i'm gonna bring the other one and i'm using the brush side because i don't want it to be like the lines to be so defined Okay, just like that. I'm going to do the other, this one off camera. Okay, and then I am going to, I don't know if you guys can see what I did. Don't worry, I know you're good. Guys going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so tricky. Yes, you're right. I am going to be bringing over these die cuts. Um, these I picked up from AliExpress. Honestly, I want to say they were very inexpensive, but um they took forever to get here to be honest so i am going to cut this but now that i'm looking at it um i'm wondering if it's too big i do have another set of die cuts let me go find them i have these die cuts as well i have this one from dress my craft and this one is also from AliExpress. I just didn't have a storage for it. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna 
end up using these i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna do this off camera again just to kind of save time um and i'll let you guys know which one we decide to use but that's the idea that we're going to create our filler for our wreath using these so let me go ahead and bring my big shot over and i'm gonna run it i'm gonna work on the second one and then i'll let you guys know how everything works out um hopefully it works out really good so then we can move on to building our 12 by 12 um page our wreath on our page so i'll see you guys in a little bit so I've already fussy cut all of this and I did decide to use the big one because I figured that I could trim these and make them shorter if I need to and then I also made these um, so I have that I have everything cut I'm gonna move that aside and I'm gonna be bringing over my 12 by 12 paper and now um, we need something circular because we are going to start um, assembling our, our, our wreath, basically. Um, and I'm only going to put glue like in the center. So in case I do have to tuck, then I can lift the edges and then tuck everything in between. So I'm only putting like a little blob or dot in the center to help me hold it and then once I finish I can always give it like another second go so let me go find something circular that's big enough to you know mark the circle and then we'll come right back Okay, you guys, I want to explain what I'm doing. So hopefully that makes sense um, to you guys. Um, I honestly did not calculate how many flowers it was going to take, how many of this, how many of this size. I just kind of did what I wanted. And then I'm like, okay, well, now I have to figure it out. So here's my thought process. I have three of these big ones. And then I have four of this size so because these are the bigger ones what I want to do is I want to divide them in three right because that's all I have and then in between I have four of these so in between I am going to add and I'm trying to kind of not make them in the same direction even though they're the same flower I want to put them like slightly over. You see how this one is kind of facing this way and this one's facing that way so that it looks um, a little bit different and they're not all facing the same direction. This one right here, when I stamped it, the image was cut off. So I can put it here and cover that up so I'm not even worried about that. So I can put it like that. And then this one I can put right here. And that gives me my half circle. I'm basically lining up the yellow of the flowers to the line that I drew. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to come with the smaller flowers. And I'm going to lay them on top. Like so. I don't even know how many of these I have. So I only have four of these as well. So I am going to put the yellow, the center of the flower, to overlap that line. And I'm flipping them in different directions so that the flowers don't look all the same. And then once I do that, then I could bring these. And honestly, I only have two of these, which is perfect because one could go there and the other one could go here. 
and that is how my thought process behind me for making the wreath so now that I've done that and before I move again in a different direction I'm gonna bring my little liquid glue and I'm gonna start adhering the bigger uh, pieces I just wanted to explain to you how I'm like dividing everything in um, in thinking of the layout you know what I'm saying like how I'm what my thinking is behind it so that you guys are aware and maybe that helps you guys a little bit so just going down there just adding a little glue dot and that's what I'm gonna do all the way around and don't worry about the empty spaces because um, we are gonna fill whatever our flowers don't do for us we're gonna fill with um, with the foliage okay this one I may have to cut because it sticks out a little bit out of there like that what a great way to use your your flowers as well and don't worry about the like the the edges you guys know I've been doing this a while I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna spin twist lift bend the edges of the flower so that it looks more realistic so don't worry about that um, if you want to create dimension uh, you can which is I think what I'm gonna do for these just so that they pop out a little bit more and again keeping in mind that we are going to um, try to keep it balanced so like that and when you look at it the yellow should follow each other if that makes sense um, the centers of the roses so I'm just putting one little what are these called stamping up um, dimensionals yeah <laughs> I couldn't think of the name but yeah I'm just adding one in the center for now like so and then I'm gonna add one on the second layer basically and so the big flowers was our first layer like that oh that one's facing the same so let me flip it over so that it has a different look and then this one down here okay and then I have two two of these and we said these are gonna fill the, the that blank space right there and honestly like I told you guys I didn't plan this I was just hoping that I had enough that I had enough flowers to um, I picked up one extra and this one we're going to kind of make it go this way oh why did it separate it I want to stick to the flower um uh, okay so something like that okay and then now, before we do anything, we're tucking in those buds, okay? So again, keep in mind where it is you want it, or if you want it even right there at the edge, like that. Ooh, that looks gorgeous. Then we're gonna stick these like so let's see so I try to do one on the outside and one on the inside but I don't I want to keep the circular shape if that makes sense so I, I don't want to distort it
that's what it looks like now with the little gems in between if you guys can't see I just kind of scattered them throughout the wreath and now we got to come up with the title okay guys I feel like my title is not really straight but that's okay I'll fix it I'll fix it later okay so I'm gonna call this layout complete even though it's not a hundred percent complete and the reason why I'm not considering it complete is because the words or the title of this page ended up being with a mixture of letters and I didn't really like that I don't have any more yellows in my alphabet here so more than likely i'm gonna have to order a second set from felicity jane and then wait for it to get here and then change them out i've told you guys this before i've mentioned it in a video i think here and there that the felicity jane um puffy stickers are very forgivable and very easy to just lift and readjust and so um, I'm going to have no problem and it's not going to damage any of my paper when I do do that. Um, so the reason why I'm not calling it 100% complete is because yes, I'm going to end up changing the letters so that they're all yellow. And the reason why I want them all yellow is because the center or my third color is this yellow that's in the center of each flower. And so I want that yellow to kind of be a little bit more in the front and center. And so I'm going to end up changing that so that the entire title is yellow. I hope that makes sense. Um, but for now, I think we're going to call this layout complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed the idea of creating your own wreath with the any flower stamps that you guys have um, and then just adding some of that foliage or these little die sets that I showed you to make these and these um, they were very inexpensive I want to say they were like a dollar some and some change at AliExpress but it does take forever like I've ordered them I've only ordered from AliExpress twice in my whole life and um it took forever it took forever to get there to get these in there but um yeah i just wanted to give you guys that idea and i'm gonna share really quick the reason why i called this um spoiled was because in this picture i had recently i think the second day i came back from afghanistan uh, my husband was living in san diego in california and so we took about I want to say four days us by ourselves um, and then we reunited with the kids and my parents had the kids so um, they were you know lucky enough I'm lucky enough to have like good parents that um, took care of my kids helped my kids helped Michael I don't know if I told you guys this because I'm making it sound like Michael wasn't uh, involved or around yes he was Michael was like like on beast mode during the whole deployment he had a full-time job he was a full-time college student um he was mom and dad obviously um and he was doing his um training at the gym and whatnot so and again he was making sure that the kids were always taken care of even though my parents were helping him because he was always at work or always hustling in college so um so anyway so we decided or we pre-planned that when i came back i was gonna fly in with them and i wanted we got a little hotel and um we just went off by ourselves for like four days and mike was so sweet i will never forget this day because he honestly treated me like a freaking queen when i got back he took me on a shopping spree um here is right before i got my haircut so i went the whole time i was in afghanistan i went without any haircut at all no obviously hairstyle or anything other than wearing your hair in a bun because it's uniform 24 7. so this is right before we went um, to like a little plaza in San Diego where we found a salon and I got my hair cut and um, then he took me to Sephora and then he took me 
to the Cheesecake Factory, which is my favorite place in the whole world. And then he took me um, shopping and to get clothes because I had nothing to wear. Um, you're, obviously, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you go to a deployment, they tell you to pack like one set of clothes, um, but you don't really use it at all. Well, we didn't get to use at all. Um, so we stayed in uniform the whole time. And so it was just nice because he basically got me clothing. And um, and yeah, so I was super spoiled that day. And honestly, when I think about that, um, I just think of like what a great time we had with each other. Like we, again, obviously we love each other, but like, I don't know. I just love that old man. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, you guys, that is the inspiration for this layout. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Sorry that it took a little bit more. I just, I'd always like to tell you the story behind the picture. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this layout. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.